Hi, you guys. How are you? It's Darla with Stampin' with Chaos. It's, it's Wednesday, my favorite day of the week. Not really. Wednesdays, I just drag. But I am excited tonight. I have a lot of things that kind of went on early. I have a lot of things that I want to do. I have actually three things. And um, so I want to go over those. So first of all, I'm going to do a drawing from last week from anybody that was on my video. Hi, Viola. How are you? And uh, I'm going to draw a name. And whoever I draw gets a kit for this last week. I'm trying to see who's all watching. Uh, and the winner is Shalane. You won this week. And to the ones for Isla, Ilo, and Candace, I do still have your card kits. I'm still, uh, I thought I was finished wrapping up with Valentine's and was going to get them done, and I had another order. So once I get done with the, with the order of the Valentine's, um, I will get on those and get those sent out to you guys. I want to thank everybody that bought my Valentine's and commented, Hi, Diana, how are you? Commented how they liked them. I had a lot of fun. Um, I thought they turned out really cute and I'm really glad that you guys liked them and thanks for, uh, thanks for letting me do them for you. That was a lot of fun. A couple quick things. I don't know how quick, but a couple things I want to go over is I'm going to start a card kit of the month and this is something that we can do virtual. Um, this, this month it's going to feature our, uh, Regency Parks designer paper and you probably saw it on my blog, but I just kind of wanted to go over it real quick. The paper you get is six by six, which is perfect. You get two cards out of one sheet of this paper. Um, it's double-sided, as you can see. There's eight different, eight different designs. So you get 48 sheets of this paper. I absolutely love the six by six. I, I really have started using it more since I started doing Stampin' Up. Hi, Christy, how are you? Um, I, I do. I just really like this size of paper. You don't waste as much. Uh, it's just, and it's, it's good quality paper. So anyways, the, the kit of the month, the card kit of the month will be the Regency Park paper. It's going to be $25. If I, you pick it up from me, it's going to be, third, what did I say? $30. If I have to ship it, that's about what postage is costing. It just keeps going up. But I think the last one that I shipped to Minnesota, it was right at $4.55. Bucks. So, hey, Arisima. You guys, make sure you comment on there so that you can go into the drawing. The membership will, cool, it will, yeah, yeah. The membership will include kits to make six different cut cards. They're all going to be pre-cut and embossed. But according to Stampin' Up, their rules, I cannot stamp them. Um, I'll have a step-by-step -step uh, project tutorials with pictures on it. We can have a private online event to complete the kits. And it's a month-to-month -month subscription. So if you look at it and you say, oh my gosh, I want this paper this month or I want these card kits this month, that's perfect. And if you decide you don't want next month, you don't have to. I am going to try to do a rewards program if you do like three three in a row, three months in a row consistent, then I am going to throw in either some embellishments or maybe a, a pack of six by six paper or do something because I think that's pretty cool. So that's the first one is the, the kit of the paper kit of the month or the card kit of the month. Uh, move that out of the way. The next one, this is kind of funny because I wanted to do a stamp of the month and I originally had picked the Sentimental Park stamp. I love all the sayings on it. I thought it was perfect. It has some really cute flowers. And then I started doing some researching and started looking on some different sites for different cards to make. And I found this card I absolutely loved. And we're going to make it tonight. And it was this one, but it was using this stamp. So because I'm so indecisive, you have your choice. You can either pick the sentimental one or you can take the Petal Park one. Um, what this membership is going to include, you get the, op the choice of one of these stamp kits. You have the option to upgrade to include the dies or the punch, and I will give you a, a, a discount, but it will be an extra cost. You get a kit to make six cards, all pre-cut pre and embossed. You get the step-by-step -step and pro or the project tutorials. We'll have a private Facebook group if you'd like to. 
and it's a month-to-month -month subscription. You get to pick the one that you want. So if you do it this month, you don't have to do it next month. And those are the subscriptions I like because then I don't end up with a bunch of garbage that I don't want. We all have different tastes. This one, I'm going to do $45 if you're local and you can pick it up. So you get this plus your card kits or I can ship it for $54. Okay, let's throw that aside except for I do need these because we're using these for a project tonight. So I need to put those over here. Um, the next thing, Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin's that subscription that I've talked about. I did have a couple people sign up, uh, Jessica and Lisa. We are going to get together and pick a date that we can get online and do it. They will be shipping. They should ship on, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's actually the 10th. So they should sh should ship by Monday. And then um, we should have them by the 20th. But I wanted to show you the add-on. They've been talking about you can add on. So this is Paper Pumpkin. This is the card. This is called the uh, la, 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 Sunshine and Smiles Kit. If you have littles or preschool, kindergarten, I think they would be awesome Easter cards. And you will, we will get to see some of this here in the next few weeks. This would be perfect. This is the extra that I bought on. They always throw, they always have, like, you can buy extra paper. You can buy... Uh, embellishments, different things that go with it. I love this paper. It is so cute. And this is a 12 by 12. And it is also double-sided. So there's two sides. So everything matches. I love it. Love it. Love it. Look at those little guys. And with the... Oh, shoot. What did I have? I bought the stamp set, which is called Playing in the Rain. Like all of this all goes together. You can buy it separately, individually, whatever you'd like. But it also has the dies that cuts out the turtle, the ra uh, the rabbit, and the fox. But isn't this cute? I can't wait. I when I look at this, I see Amberly and and uh, Kinley and the little ones. This is just all like a rain paper, but it's all double sided. So pretty. So with Paper Pumpkin, you have to sign up by the tenth. And the 10th, I believe, is tomorrow. So tomorrow is the last day that we can sign up. Is tomorrow the 10th? The 10th is the last day that we can sign up for this month's Paper Pumpkin. And it's the same thing. You guys can go in. If, you, if I show you, because I usually know in advance, if I show you what it is and you don't like it, you can go in and pause it so you don't have to get it that month. If you want it, if you like it, then you just keep, um, you don't have to do anything and it automatically ships to you. Okay, let's move that one out. Whoops. I just threw something in the garbage. Oh, there it is. Oh. Hi, Jessica. How are you? We had beautiful weather today. Hi, Beth. How are you doing? It was absolutely gorgeous. It made me want spring so bad, and I feel tomorrow we'll probably get up and end up with uh, snow, our luck. But anyways, it was a beautiful day out. I do have one other thing I want to tell you real quick, and then I'm going to start crafting. I have two classes. One is going to be the 18th of February. I have a couple spots available from 1030 to 130 at the fire station. Um, we're going to make probably five to six cards, but I will have a couple make and take stations set up. So you go home with seven to eight different things. Um, there's a place that you can buy stuff that I do have available that I bought extra or whatever. But I also, we do a nacho bar. It's kicked back. It's laid back. We just craft and have fun and enjoy each other's company. Hi, Candice. How are you? And the other date is also February 25th. So I had enough to have two small classes so far. Um, so I'm really excited. So the 25th is the same thing. 1030 to 130 at the fire station. We'll have a nacho bar. Make some cards. They're the same class. Um, so we will have to, I mean, I'm not going to do two separate classes yet. So we're going to do all the same class right now. So anyways, but I need to know by the 10th on that also, so that I can get the supplies ordered and get everything cut and made because it'll be next week and comes right around the corner. So if you do want to do that, please message me and I'll get you all the information. And it's $25 for the, for the classes. Okay, I think that's it. So I think what we're going to do, first of all, I have a couple little Valentine things I want to do, and then we'll, we'll get onto the card. This is the cutest little box, and it's completely made out of paper. 
and it's made out of six by six paper. So that paper that I showed you right there, this is what you can make. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna push you down real quick. So you guys can see. I can't believe Valentine's is a week away. Tomorrow is Paul's birthday. I already gave him his gift early. So now I feel bad because I don't have anything else. <laughs> I'm terrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we have Valentine's Day. So, okay. So you take a six by six piece of paper and this is our uh, sweet sorbet. It's a gingham. And you, I'm a liar. Nope, this is it. And you score it, which means you put it on this little machine over here and you make little folds into it. And you're gonna do it at three quarters. This is going to be the lid. So then what you wanna do is you wanna cut so that you can bend everything in. So go around and cut the, the little tabs. And then fold everything. I did a couple, uh, I did a couple, oh, I didn't score that. I drew a nice little line on it. I did a couple runs on this thinking, oh, you won't have any mistakes. And look, just right there, right off the bat. <laughs> this is my scoring board. I want to get a different one. This is actually made for an explosion box, which we will be making next month. Um, but it has these little lines. And a lot of times your paper trimmers has one on there too. It just, oops, it just indents it so you can fold it better. But they have actual 12 by 12 scores is which, what I want. But Joanne's and Moses Lake is out. I looked again today. So I'm going to have to order it. I cut these different. Oh, well. Just get the fold nice and good. Then you're gonna take your fancy dancy little tape tape runner. And you're gonna bring it up like this. So I need to fold it, put a little bit of tape. I bought these little things and I'm trying them tonight to see if I like them better. And I think I do. Okay, you gonna get your little corner. You know, and it's funny, I thought Stampin' Up! was just cards. It is so far from just cards. There is there is so much you can do with paper. It's crazy. I'm going to fold this up and do the same thing. I found a lady in Australia. I love her accent. She's so fun to listen to. And, uh... I've learned a lot from her. She doesn't even know it. <laughs> Whoops. She's taught me a lot. I did that one backwards, guys. Now it's not going to like me. Okay. These would be cute for... Um, honestly, if I would have saw these bef before, I may have done these instead of what I did for the grandkids for, uh, for Valentine's Day. But... You could, I could do them for the tw uh, one of the 12 days. It'd be very easy to, to put one of their small little... Because some of the kids are older, so they, they'll get a gift card here and there. Okay, there's your lid. Perfect. Okay, now I'll make the bottom. The same thing. This is a... I took an 8.5 by 11 sweet sorbet, and I scored it at 7... Or cut it down into 7 by 7. And I scored it at one and a quarter all the way around. So the same thing. You just make sure you fold it, get your. The other reason I want a different score is this one doesn't have measurements on it. And I did it like three times last night. And each time one of the sides came out a little bit different, which was fine. Okay. And then you're going to cut so we can fold it in. Okay, put 
put our glue on here. I'm going to do it on the outside. You could do it on the outer or the in, I guess. Probably should have done it on the in. It doesn't matter. And now, reality, do they really even care? Nope. They're going to open it, find out what's inside, and they're going to toss the box and you'll never see it again. Okay. But I probably should try to do them all consistent the same, though. Okay, see how easy that goes together? Candace, look what came in. They work amazing. I haven't even used any bad words tonight on them. Okay, there's your box. Your lid goes on top. If it fits. It's supposed to fit. There we go. Come on, baby. My, my other, there you go. So you could put a gift card, some candy, some little, uh, that cringy paper in there. And there you got a gift box. Now, this was something that I never, because I don't think of stuff, I never in a million years would have thought of. So then we're going to take and put a ribbon and make a tab. This is our, I love this ribbon, the woven, woven ribbon, the woven ribbon, and we're going to stamp on it. Who would have thunk that you could do that? You guys, I can't see the comments right now, but if you were on, make sure you pop in and just say hi, and that way you'll get into the drawing. Shalane won la uh, last week's. Okay, so then you're just going to stamp. Look at that. Isn't that flipping cool? It did say to let it dry a little bit before you tried to tie it, but I didn't wait last night, and it did pretty good, so I'm not too worried about it. Definitely put a piece of paper under it because it's going to go through. You could put as many as you want, as less as you want. How fun is that? Like I said, I never would have thunk of that. Okay, and then we're going to let that sit for a second. We'll go ahead and make a quick tag. And this little baby is off of our... Where's my heart punches? Right here. The little heart is off of our You Plus Me. It's one of these right here. This is an old, this is an old Stampin' Up! that I had from before. And then this extra, this other little tag one that we're going to do, Happy Valentine's Day, this is off of the Heartfelt. This was this year's. So I am going to use Sweet Sorbet. I really like this Sweet Sorbet color. It's kind of, it kind of has grown on me. And then I'm going to put this under me. Oops. Stamp it on there. Mm, there you go. I have these little mats. They work so good if you put them under your stamps. It gives it enough. Uh, I don't know what it does. It makes it thicker or something, but it makes it ad adhere better so it looks better. I'm going to let that dry for a minute. And then we have our heart punches that come to in a pack. You get this one, and then you also get this one's cool, too. It's got uh, the little crinkly edges. I love it because it matches right up to this, so it makes it super easy to, I'm going to have to cut it. Yes, insert it. You can line it up and then punch it out. It was off just a little bit. That's all right. It'll still work. Okay, and then we're going to pop that up. But we're going to tie the, go ahead and tie this. I'm going to shut this so I don't end up with ink everywhere. Because that is my forte. By the time I get done, I usually have it everywhere. Okay. We're going to put our little box. And we are just going to tie a great bow because we all know I am so good at bow tying. And I don't know what it is, but this is the second bow in a row that I've tied that I've been okay with. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. I like this. I like this ribbon. I like the texture and it's not real slick and okay. Kind of trim the ends up a little bit. There we go. Now we're gonna see, and you can see the little hearts that you, you stamped on it. Then we're gonna take this and put some dimensionals on it to pop it up. Turn it over. That is gonna drive me crazy. But we have a lot to do tonight. I'm not wasting time. Okay. Put it on. And the last thing I'm gonna do, so last night I took stickles. And stickles is these little glitter, um, they're like this, I had a clear one and put the glitter on it and you can see it, but I didn't, I don't know, I didn't really like how it turned out. So tonight I have these uh, milky dots. And so I'm just gonna stick a couple of these milky dots on the hearts just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension and make it look a little shinier. Whoops, maybe I'm going to. My puppy took off. They just stick down on there. Maybe. There we go. See, it just gives a, adds a little bit to it. I, I call them doodads. I love doodads. When I first started scrapbooking, you know, everybody was like, oh my gosh, it has to be acid free. And it probably really needs to be acid free. But if you look at all of the stuff that people put on stuff, you cannot tell me that, that it's acid free. <laughs> There's no way. Okay, so there we go. And you got yourself a cute little box. Isn't that awesome? So that's the first one. The next one, I saw this on, I'm not sure if it was on TikTok or uh, Instagram Reel or what it was, but I thought, by George, this is what I'm doing for the Littles for Valentine's Day. So that's what we're doing and I wanted to share it with you. And they turned out adorable. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see it a little bit better. See, it's like a sucker. It's like a big Valentine sucker. So what they did is they had paper plates they had clear, they had paper plates like this, but in turn, they had the cellophane that had all the Valentine on it. And a lot of times you can find it at Dollar Tree, but I could not find any of the Dollar Tree uh, or any of this wrap that was the cellophane wrap that had the Valentine on it. So what I ended up doing is I went ahead and I stamped my plates. So that's what we're gonna do. Didn't take very dang long at all. Let me get one more plate. And I bought my plates. The first ones I bought were, I believe, from the Dollar Tree in Moses Lake. But I'm not going to lie. They're kind of flimsy. So when I was in Walmart the other day, I found these. And they were a little bit heavier. And since it's got to be like a sucker, I thought that would be better. Forgot to plug in my glue gun. Hold on. I'm going to disappear. Sorry. I'm plugging down here. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Okay, there we go. Hey, nice picture of my butt. Sorry about that. Okay. Whew. We'll get past that. So what I'm going to do is I bought the, <laughs> you guys, did you see my video or Addie's video last week when she was talking about these chocolates? These are, whose are they? Pop. Palmer chocolates are cookies and cream and they're at the Dollar Tree and they taste just like the cookies and cream Hershey candy bar. They are so good. They are so worth the dollar. Go get some. So we're what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, whoops, I'm just going to stick a couple down on the plate. And I bought lollipops, the, um, uh, Tootsie Roll lollipops, but they were too fat and they the I couldn't get the plate to seal, so I had to take those out. 
So they're getting that, but the big thing that they're getting is they're getting a $5 gift card to Crumble Cookie. So that's what the big, the, their little Valentine is. You can make confetti, which I was going to, but I didn't. Um, you could put, you could put all sorts of stuff in here. I'm just doing, just doing a little, because they get so much stuff for Valentine's anyways, but I just like to do a little something for them. Okay, and then the hard part was getting the pencil to, to stick. So now what we're gonna do is I went around, and you have to get it up because it's, you have to get it up kind of high. So probably, I'm gonna say put it in, how far did I put it in? So probably about that much you wanna put it in. And then I glued it. And I'm not really good at this, so we're just going to wing it. And I did figure out if you go around the plate, <laughs> the glue dries before you get to put the thing on. So you kind of have to do it, you kind of have to do it in steps, I guess. Which isn't that easy. But if you don't, then the glue, will, oh shoot, I forgot to stamp on them. Mm! We're going to stamp on it real quick. I forgot to do that. That was the whole deal. So we're gonna stamp, and when you stamp on it, you just have to push it down. I had a couple that didn't turn out, so. And I used this, I'm gonna do the sweet sorbet first, and then I'm gonna go back with polished pink and then do the, do the rest of it. So push it down really good so that it gets a good, see. here. I'm getting it on me. That's why it's getting on there. Tell ya. End up wearing this stuff. I'm in a hurry. I need to slow down. Um, let's do this one over here. Get a good seal on it. That one smidged a little, but we're going to go with it. It can be the back. And like I said, they're going to open it up and toss it aside anyway, so... I had a friend that told me that uh, presentation is nine-tenths of the battle. So if you can come up with a, you might not have anything, and you can come up with the best little packaging instead of presentation. And uh, you got a cool gift. Okay, so this one is going to be polished pink, and we're going to do the same thing. Press it down good, and I'm going to kind of go off center here. getting that little spot there and then there okay and then you would do the other side on the other one as well but I already stuck everything to it so we're not gonna worry about it and you close your ink because you will wear it again okay now we're gonna glue Do the this is a stringy uh and we're gonna stick it on and it takes a few for it to okay remember and I said we're gonna go up to about there so then what I did is I put some glue on the plate where the pencil goes and held it down and then I put it, and the one thing about it, the glue will come off the pencil so you're not ruining it. And then I went ahead and ran around the edges and squeezed it the best that I could. That was the tricky part, was getting that in there. Pop me back up. Paul and I talked about getting dowels, and, cause we saw it and it, when I saw it, it had pencils, but it wasn't very sturdy and I was really disappointed. And so, well, let's just go get some dowels and paint them white. So I went to Walmart and Walmart does have dowels and they have them like in a package. And I looked at them and I'm like, but they're way too long. We're gonna have to cut them anyways. So 
And being that it's, they're not gonna, what would they do with a dowel? So I'm like, no, we're gonna try to make this pencil thing work. The next thing I did, just to make it a little bit more on that edge of the, and you don't have to do this, but it made the pencil stay in better. <laughs> So we decided to wing it and not use dowels and just use pencils. So there you go. And then you can buy the cellophane at the Dollar Tree. And like I said, sometimes they have them. Let me just put it in there. I would love to work or own a business where all you did was go buy gifts and make baskets and I love that kind of stuff. I want to wrap it under. Maybe. There we go. You really don't care what the back looks like as long as the front looks good. What I end up doing is using tape. You really can't. And if you have the clear tape, you really can't see it then at all. You get it good and tight on there. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around the front and then that's where you're gonna gather it. And then tie your ribbons around it. And just so you know, this one will come back apart because I gotta fix it. But. I loved when we had the party store here because I could buy this stuff by the, by the roll, as you can see. And now you can hardly find it anywhere. Amazon is my best friend, as I'm sure he's all yours. Hi, Rita. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Christine. You guys, make sure you guys comment in the thing so you can go in for next week's drawing. And I just tie it around. Frill it up. And then I will make a little tag for each one of the kids. And if you have to trim it, like at the bottom, you can just trim it up a little bit. And then there's always a little little spot where it's going to have to go back and get tucked in. So there you go. Here's the, this one looks better. <laughs> Isn't that cute though? So easy. Oh, Lisa, thank you. But I find everything on online. <laughs> I'm a good copier. <laughs> so anyways, those are the two Valentine crafts that I had. Now the card. If you guys want to stick around, this is going to be the... I, this is going to be fun. I really had a ball making this. Um, it was a lot of fun. So this is actually using the stamp that I decided to add to the, to the uh, stamp of the month. So it's using the Petal Park. Um, I learned a lot from watching this lady. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and get started on that. I have everything over here nice and... I'm going to turn this over because I don't want that red all over everything. Okay, this is our, it's not our balmy blue. I can't remember the name of it. Let's do a blank. Pool party. It's kind of a light green. And I cut it down to five and a quarter by four and a quarter. And then I folded it. Uh, no, I didn't. It was eight and a half by. <laughs> you guys, I just drew a complete blank. Let's just measure this baby. It's eight and a half by five and a half, I think. Eight and a half by five and a quarter. Eight and a half by five and a quarter. And it was scored at four and a quarter. There we go. That's the dimensions. So this is going to be the outside of the card that we're going to do. And this is going to be the front of it. And this I went, I'm not even going to try to guess, four by five. And 
this is gonna go on the front like that. Hi, Lori, how are you? Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to use We are gonna stamp some leaves. We're gonna stamp these leaves right here. And these are actually double stamped. So the, the, the ones with the veins and everything on it is in the darker stamp called Old Olive. And then I had an older color called Pistachio Pudding that's gonna make the insides of this. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stamp this one and this one. And we're gonna do that in the Old Olive. And sometimes when you have a bigger stamp, oh, you can't even see me, sorry. Sometimes when you have a bigger stamp, it's easier to stamp, get this on here like this. Now when you wipe off, you need to make sure that you, okay, now yeah, where's my stamp pad? Right here. So we're going to do the top one first. Make sure I'm doing this right here. Mm -hmm. Yep, I am. Okay, we're going to kind of turn it sideways. I like turning everything sideways. I don't like anything straight. I even turn my paper when I write. Okay. So there's that. And we're going to go ahead and do it again down here on the bottom. Turn it up to kind of match it, but oh, I need to Let's click this up a little bit. I don't want to get my mat all yucky. Okay, because I want the tag to go through the middle, so we're going to kind of, we're just going to do it like that. Okay. Oops. Okay, so there is the outer edge of it. You guys, I never in a million years thought I would be doing this. Every time I'd look at a card that had that was colored or any of that, I literally would hyperventilate and say, I can't do this. And I'd walk away. I'm loving it. I am just, I'm actually, I'm having a ball. Paul just laughs at me. He goes, you're happy. You're happy all the time. I'm like, yeah, because I'm not sitting in front of the TV. Okay, so this is pistachio pudding. So this is what we're going to do the lighter on. And this was kind of interesting. Um, when I was watching her, she used some different colors that I didn't have. This is an older stamp. So if it was a newer stamp like this one, what I would do is I would stamp it on and then I would stamp a little bit off and then put it on. But it's such a light color and it's an older stamp that it's not real. It's not overbearing. So I am not going to stamp it off. I'm just going to try and stamp it right on top. And the good thing about these acryl acrylic and the clear, you can put it right over the top and see exactly where it's supposed to go. So you can pretty much match it up identical. Maybe. Okay, my head's probably going to get in the way. You just kind of match it up. And if you have to turn it, kind of get it down there, look at it, and then punch it down. It worked. <laughs> and then we're going to turn it around and do it again. I'm telling you. A year ago, six months ago, I'd have been looking at this going, yeah, not in my lifetime. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We are going to line it up the best that we can. Okay, uh, I'm going to go. Isn't that pretty? That worked out really slick. Okay. So the next step is, i to put these back because i got to remember which goes with this and that. Okay, whoops, I got them backwards. All right. We're going to use these a little bit later. Oh, I've got to undo my gun. 
Okay. We're going to do the flowers. And this is the other thing that I love, love, love about this stamp set. Is we have a punch. So we have the Petal Park. Um, stamp set that matches the punch. So when we punch or when we ink these, stamp these, then we get to punch them out. And that's how we did this part right here. So with that being said, I need some white stuff because I forgot that part of it. Okay, and we are going to do the darker one with all the colors, the veins, I guess, and the lighter one with just kind of the plain color. And I'm going to use eggplant, elegant eggplant. This is an older ink that we had, the Stampin' Up! had that I bought a while ago. Now, I don't, because we're doing the pastels, I don't want it super duper dark. So this will be one that I will try to stamp off. So we'll get it on there. And then I'm going to... Okay, so since it's older, highlight. <laughs> it's not as dark. I was using a different one earlier and it was super duper dark. That's probably why I switched. Okay, so we... So I'm going to go ahead and do that on here. I think I'm doing this backwards, really. Oh, well, let's just do it. What the heck? Do it again. Okay, so let's get the... And then you want to look at the stamp and kind of place your... When you stamp it, you kind of want to place it the same because then it'll just slide in there just perfect. So I want this on top, these on the sides. Okay. Is a little bit darker but that's okay it'll dry and then we're gonna take the oh dang nabbit I did this one okay then we're gonna take this and we are gonna use it but we are gonna do this one lightly so we're gonna stamp it off it's not stamping all the way let me try this a couple times here hmm this big one isn't this big one isn't liking me. Okay, now stamp off. There we go. I'm gonna do it light. I know what I did. I'm looking at this card here. Give me a sec. I'm gonna try this. If I don't like it, then I am gonna redo it. I don't want this super duper dark though. You match it up. There we go. So it just did it a little bit. It just lightened it up a little bit. So then what you're gonna do, it's still kind of darker than what I wanted. I might try it one more time. Is that petal pink is such a soft or blushing bright is such a soft color I'm gonna try it one more time see if I can get it to go a little bit lighter maybe I'll just do the purple maybe that's what I'll do ah dang nabbit This did take me a couple of times to do. Okay, and now we're gonna go over the top of it with the other one, just not very dark. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna hold my breath. Mm, got a little bit, let's try it one more time. That's still pretty because it has the it has the different dimensions, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use this other one. I like this one better. 
So let's go ahead and punch these out. And you're gonna match it right up. I probably will have to cut some of this paper off. And so you just slide it in. Look at that, and it matches perfect. Did I move it? No. Okay. And then you get your those three, and then we're gonna do it again, and we're gonna do it in a this pink. And we're going to do it in Blushing Bride. We're going to do the same thing. Clean my stamps off real good. Okay, let's see. You know this one turns out perfect. I actually like it. Uh, I like that blushing bride. It might be a little too light, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, let me get this lined up. The same thing. There we go. I'm not sure. Let's punch it out and see what we think. No, it's too dark. Okay, let's do this one more time. I think I'm just gonna do this, the outside on the pink one. I get kind of finicky. It's like, okay, I did this right the first time. What's going on? There we go. Okay, let's do the inside again. I'm gonna stamp some of it off. Oh, see, now there it was perfect. I can't, I can't. Perfect, that looks much better. Okay, I'm much happier with that. You just wanna give it a little bit of color on this one. That's kind of what I wanted to do on the purple, but it didn't quite work out that way. Okay, and the same thing, we're gonna line it up maybe. I might have to cut it again. Yeah, because I didn't put it in right. And it was supposed to match up. Dang it. You should probably kind of punch that or... Or can you uh, stamp that? You probably should stamp it straight and not turn it like I did. <laughs> Makes it harder to, there we go. Come on, baby. I may go in here. There we go, look, I got it. I just put it in there, cockeyed. That was my problem. I stamped it crooked. Okay, whoops, I had it and then I moved it. Okay, the little one looks lined up. That one's pretty good. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna punch. Okay. So we are done with that. Then you're gonna take these and we're gonna pop them up on dimensionals. So they're up. And 
um, we're going to curl up the edges just, just a little, just to give it a little bit more dimension. Stick these. These are double-sided, so it's really nice. You can just put them down on there. We're going to do a purple. Like I said, just kind of roll your edges up a little just to... Put the big one there. And put the little one over here. Maybe the sticky part didn't come off. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. Do the big one. Kind of roll it up. You can roll it up after you put them on there too as well. do a little purple. What do I got left? Mm. I'll do that. I think I want pink. How if we do two pinks and a... That purple's pretty bright. Okay, let's pop it up and see what we think. I'm going to put one more down there. Okay, and then we're going to flip up the, the sides. Just kind of roll them up, bend them up a little bit. And then I'm going to put some milky dots in the, oh, these are called milky, are these the milk, no, these are the pastel pearls. Aren't those pretty? So we're going to put those in the middle of them to make the middle stand up a little bit, stand out, give it a little bit more color. And put some pink. Doodads, people, doodads. I love doodads. Put it right there in the center. Bring that one up a little bit more. We could go, since it's so dark, Let's maybe we'll do a light purple on this one, see what we think. Yeah, that looks good. Kind of bring them up. Another light purple here. You know, when you guys go on and you look at the prices and you're, and I know I did the same thing. I was like, oh my goodness, these are kind of expensive. But once you look at how many cards that you can make, so I believe you can buy, don't quote me. The entire set so you can buy the whole combo you can get the little six by six papers papers you can get the stamp sets both stamp sets you can get the uh die cuts i mean it's like a hundred and some odd dollars which which is spendy i agree with that but it's not like you're making like one card i mean you can make so many different cards out of one one group i mean it's it's just that's what i found it's it's fun because you can you can actually make so many okay so there we are with that now we are going to we'll see what i want to do next okay i want to tie this and i don't have any purple ribbon so i have this uh so easy fancy floss that i've had for a while so we are going to go ahead and wrap that around there and attach it and then we're going to glue it down to our card I'm a little long-winded tonight. Sorry about that. I thought about going live twice. I was actually thinking about going live tomorrow night. And uh, I think I'm just going to use a piece of tape on this because nobody's going to see it anyways. Oh, shit. I didn't. Shoot. I didn't say that word. I'm just going to do it around twice. Bad, bad deal. Um, but tomorrow's Paul's birthday, and I thought, oh. He'll still go to bed at 7.30, 8 o'clock, but. OK, 
Okay, let's tape it down here so it doesn't move. Oh, come on. Dang, nabbit. Maybe we'll just go once. It doesn't have to go twice. I just wanted it to. Oh, there, it did. It's going to be close. We're going to stretch it. And it is going to make it, whether it wants to or not. Get that PPE on there. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to adhere it to the card. I'm not going to go all the way because the card doesn't go all the way. Okay. Isn't that cute? And then the next thing we're going to do is make the tag. And I am going to use... Oh, I did put leaves. I forgot to put the leaves on there, but I didn't. Okay. We are going to use the um, eggplant for the color. I can find it. And I just put, I picked a thinking of you. And I'm gonna use that extra flower that we cut out. And you can, on this, on these two stamp sets, you can mix and match the, um, the flowers too. Okay, and then I got this purple one. I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to the card. Whoops. If you guys are crafters, paper crafters, they have these at Amazon, X Fasten, and I love them. I just got them today, thought I'd try it, see what I thought, I got a bunch for my classes. I love it. I will be buying a bunch more of those. The little kids, when they come over, they can even use it. It's uh, it's very user-friendly. And if I can use it, anybody can use it. Because I absolutely, I hate the whiteouts that are like this. Ask Candace, she'll tell you. Uh, we're going to have to squeeze this puppy in there a little bit. Might have put them together. We might have to move our little flower. And we'll put her back down. There we go. That was easy. We'll just reposition it. Okay. And then we are going to pop up this little flower. Hmm. This is, I'll put it about, no, I'll put it down here. About right there. Well, and then she took some ribbon and added off over here. Um, honestly, I think that was too much ribbon for me. And I don't have purple, purple ribbon anyway, so it wouldn't have worked. But you can add, you obviously, you could add more ribbon. The only other thing that we, I, I'll uh, show you real quick is, and I'm not real good about doing it, and I've really got to start, is the insides. I always just leave the insides plain because then you can just write whatever, right? Well, when I started seeing them do this, I kind of liked it. So I took another piece of paper that was, I can find it. I had it cut out for the inside. And we're just going to take our eggplant and we're going to take our little stamp and we're going to put a piece of paper under it so that we can go off of the edge of it. And we're just going to stamp. Hmm, let's see kind of how I want more of the big one like that, I think. Okay, stamp that on there. And then we're going to take the other stamp and just do a soft eggplant on it. And we're going to just match it up. There you 
There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing with, I've got some leaves. And so we're going to use the darker color, which is going to be uh, Old Olive. And we're going to put some leaves in there. And then the lighter color, I'm going to use that perfect pistachio, just like I did over here. So let's get some leaves on this baby. Put a couple in there. Okay, and let's do the pistachio over the top. I might have to put one more on there. This would give it a little bit more color. I'm going to do one more. Let's kind of do it off to this side here. There we go. Woo! And I dropped it. I have a tub. Everything falls into the tub. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Do we need one more leaf up there? That might be too much. No, we probably could use that. Okay. Then we are going to adhere that into the inside of the card. And we are done with the card. The other thing that she did was we did the envelope. And um, I'm probably going to start doing that too. Because you just put a little bit of color on the outside of the envelope to match the there we go there you are isn't that cool you guys I thought it turned out so good hey Shalane I believe are you the winner winner chicken dinner I think that was you I think I think you were Okay, so there you guys are. I'm a little picky. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, my doodads are from our company. Um, Lisa, I can actually look them up and then tag. I'll put, I'll go to the, when I post it, I'll put down the, exactly what they are. Um, anything else I can think of? Oh, this is the envelope. And I did it a little bit darker than what I really wanted it. But look at that. You have the whole set. So cute. You guys, so cute. So once again, if you guys are interested in Paper Pumpkin, we have to be signed up by the 10th. Um, if you are interested in any of the kits that I threw out there that are posted, we want to do those by the 10th so I can get those ordered. Uh, remember that I switched the stamps because... I really like this pedal park. So you have the choice between the pedal park or the sentimental park for the stamp club of the club of the month. And that's all posted on my blog also. And then I have two classes, the 18th and the 25th. If you guys want to get signed up, message me because that cutoff um, is also on the 10th. Everything's on the 10th. <laughs> Aren't those flowers cute? Question, how do you determine your size? The size of what, Lisa? The size of the card or? I'm trying to, look at you guys. I'm getting so much better at this. I can even see comments. I don't know if Lisa's still on here. The If it's the size of the, the original card. Because these cards that you buy pre-bought, that if you go and buy a pack of cards, like a, you can buy them from us or you can buy them at probably a Walmart, but I bought mine at Joann's. That's the standard size. You can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, but that's pretty much the standard size that fits. And then they come with the envelopes. So that's how I determined it. Thanks, Viola. Thanks for watching. Um, so yeah, that's how I determine. And I have, I haven't made any bigger ones. Well, I'll have to look into that because I know there are definitely some. 
but anyways okay you guys that's it for tonight thank you so much for watching i'm really having a ball doing this and i'm really glad you guys are behind me so have a great night and we'll talk to you later